Okay, guys, what's up? Um, so, this is in addition to the last video I made 10 days ago. So, let me pull that up real fast just to give you a bit of background information. Opening uh, Screen Connect client uh, from Scammers. That was on a customer's uh, PC. And I just found this out. Uh, so, today I was making another video, which I just completely just deleted uh, and when I was looking through all the serv uh, you know everything processes that are running I see st uh, screen connect client which is still running and in my last video if you watched that I uh, you know opened up their little terminal that they used to try to connect to the person and they didn't have anything open of course with me because I didn't call them or anything I just had their standalone application Standalone application is just your like your ADW cleaner. It's just it's a st standalone application. Uh, so like if you go into control panel, ADW cleaner is not going to show up in here because ADW cleaner is just a standalone application. It's just a standalone exe. But It does put files on your on your system here. Uh, um, if you go to this PC, go to users, your user. Um, nope. Uh, you know, I, I, I don't know. I'm not going to go into detail. But I saw this still running, and I'm like, what? File location. And, of course, all this stuff, a good place that... Malware is hidden, stuff like that is saved, is into app data. And all of this, even though I deleted that standalone exe, it got, it, it's, the program was still installed on my computer. And when I ran some of these uh, applications, my whole uh, taskbar changed. And this is what I'm going to do, is that I am going to do that again. And I'm going to, boom. So look at this. This got changed from a uh, backstage shell. So... I didn't, I, you know, I didn't know what a, uh, till now, uh, I didn't know what a backstage shell is. And and this is what a backstage shell is. The backstage mode feature a lot allow that allows hosts to have uh, uh, to have complete windows terminal and powershell access to a remote machine doesn't have an option to turn off except for using the option of unchecking switch login session in security rules which also affects other so when you have the option to require consent where the user has to allow access if you use the backstage mode, it does not require consent, even though the option is set on. Big security issue for financial institutions and stuff like that. So, uh, so, you know, you go here. I mean, I don't know what, you know, I don't know any of the commands or whatever to, to you know, well, what they can do. Or if someone has like somehow access to my my computer, I, I have no idea. Uh, I really don't know. So well, there's nothing there. So, so, 
So now what I'm going to do is try to find it. Oh, there we go. Okay, the first time. Ending the process will cause windows to become unusable or shut down. What? That didn't happen last time. I think what I did with it. Wait, this is using CPU. Because I did end task. And then it went back to normal, my taskbar. Uh, yeah. No. Okay. Okay, this is what we're going to do here. I'm going to end it. And it's back. Now that it's ended. Um, I got to get into our... I got to get into... I gotta get into our local to see our users, our user test. Oops, nope. Hmm. Now, uh, let's see if we still got some running in here. That's Windows. Ah, uh, I didn't want to do that. Okay, it's probably okay. So I'm pretty sure we're clear now. Wow, I did not know that uh, that was still uh, running in the background. Um, interesting. Okay. Everything's off. Well, okay. Just cancel that. Well, that's going to wrap it up for this video. Um, that's something completely new that I didn't know uh, that was actually running. 
So that's some crazy stuff right there. Um, so I will link that in the old video and the new video as well. But uh, wow, that's very interesting. So let's kind of wrap it up for uh, this video.